Prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our celebration of Easter, we are reminded today of the story of Mary Magdalene the witness to the resurrection. Let us be reminded, like her, to choose always the one who loved us. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. you. We give, we give you thanks, thanks for your, your great glory. glory. Lord God, God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Son Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, let the, how, let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments, and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb, weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb, and saw two angels in white sitting there, 
one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported, what he had told her. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our reflections this octave of Easter, we are again presented with the person, the character of Mary Magdalene, a central figure in the story of the resurrection. And not only in the resurrection, but we will see that all throughout the life of Jesus, Mary Magdalene was there. Hindi iniwan ni Maria Magdalena si Jesus. Sa bawat sandali ng paglilingkod ni Jesus sa mga tao, hanggang sa paanan ng krus at hanggang sa libingan, hindi iniwan ni Maria Magdalena si Jesus. Bakit kaya? Bakit kaya si Jesus ang laging pinipili ni Maria Magdalena? Isa lang naman ang sagot, mga kapatid. Sapagkat si Jesus ang nagmahal sa Kanya. Sapagkat si Jesus ang nagpakita ng dakilang pagmamahal sa Kanya. Yan ang pamantayan kung bakit siya ang pinili ni Maria Magdalena hanggang sa huling sandali, hanggang sa libingan. That is why in our Gospel reading today, we see Mary Magdalene weeping at the tomb of Jesus, looking for His body. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the only criteria of Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene chose Jesus because He loved her. And this is also our criteria of choosing. Let us always choose the one who always loved us, the one who showed us love. This is the preaching of St. Peter in our first reading today. St. Peter told the Jewish people at that time when he was preaching during the Pentecost, Who will you choose? Will you choose the people who hurt you? The corrupt people who have hurt you? Or will you choose Jesus 
who loved you. Mga minamahal na kapatid, madalas po, nagkakandaloko-loko ang buhay natin kasi ang pinipili nating mga tao ay hindi yung mga nagmamahal sa atin. Ang pinipili natin yung mga nananakit sa atin. And so, Mary Magdalene and the disciples are teaching us today, Who will you choose? What is the standard of our choosing? Isa lang po ang pamantayan ng pagpili natin. Sino ba ang nagpakita ng pagmamahal sa iyo? Sino ba ang tunay na nagmahal sa iyo? Pipiliin mo ba ang nanakit sa iyo? Pipiliin mo ba ang nagsinungaling sa iyo? Pipiliin mo ba ang nagnakaw sa iyo? Isa lang ang pamantayan. Piliin sino ang tunay na nagmahal sa iyo. Sana ganyan ang pamantayan natin, hindi lamang para sa sarili. Sa bawat pagpili natin, sa ating pamilya, sa ating tahanan, at sa ating bayan, piliin sino ang tunay na nagmahal sa bayan. My dear brothers and sisters, Mary Magdalene chose Jesus because it was Jesus who showed her the greatest love. Let us also choose the one who showed us the greatest love. Amen. Please stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through Him, let us pray with confidence to the Father. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us gathered here may remain faithful to our baptismal promises. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may share in Christ's glorious resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for the intentions offered in this Mass. O God, through the death of your Son, you gave us the hope of eternal life. Grant that through his resurrection, we may obtain the life we long for. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this, in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing now and forever amen may he by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom make you heirs to an eternal inheritance now and forever amen and may you who have already risen with christ in baptism through faith by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Alleluia! Alleluia! Thanks be to God. Alleluia! Alleluia! Regina Cheni, Laetare, Alleluia! Qui aque meruisti portare, Alleluia! Resurrexit, Sigut Dixit, Alleluia! Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia!